First off, why are we saying that the update is now going to be at 10 a.m. on December the 5th, uh, Eastern Standard Time? There is about four pieces of evidence, I would say. So we have Hypex, obviously very, very sure. Chapter three starts tonight. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. ET slash 3 p.m. UTC on a weekend, which is amazing. I do truly believe updates should be on a weekend. It may, it, like the player base is mostly children of this game. It's going to be amazing. Then we also have two other main pieces of evidence. So first off, Jocelyn. I feel really bad for Jocelyn, but someone DM'd PlayStation uh, customer support said, I'm just asking, do you have an estimated time when downtime is done or when Fortnite Chapter 3 starts? Jocelyn responded, which is obviously someone officially at PlayStation. No, John, we only know the Fortnite servers will be unavailable until the new season launches on 10 a.m. ET, December 5th, 2021. You can find more information here. So we already have now two main pieces of evidence pointing towards 10 a.m. And we also have Xbox, so according to Xbox, Fortnite is scheduled to come back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Image sent to me via G-Matrix game. So if you look at the actual photo, schedule maintenance until 10 a.m. ET. So we now have both PlayStation representatives and Xbox's back end telling us it would be 10 a.m. ET, which has obviously led Hypex to be incredibly, incredibly confident that it's going to be 10 a.m. So I'm like 99% sure on this. I'm not 100% sure because we don't have it from Epic themselves, but... It looks like 10 a.m. ET is going to be the new chapter start. We also have the fact that this right now, if you guys log into Fortnite, if you go into Fortnite, so my one's right here, you will see yourself floating in the water. As we get closer to the island, the camera pans down and gets closer. And we have Hypex saying, I just checked right now and the floating uh, codename GGL05 is set to stop tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. ET. So maybe there'll be like a 30 minute break. And it says, when the floating is close to the end, we'll see a shark coming to us in Chapter 3 Island Teaser. So we pretty much have about four or five really good pieces of evidence that Chapter 3 is starting at 10 a.m. now. Hypex even went on in a tweet to say that it was supposed to start on December 7th like we originally thought, but because of the leaked trailer from the Poland official channel, they've sped it up. I don't know if I believe that because we do still have that uh, Save the World pack that's coming out and said it was coming out at 10 a.m. It seems like a bit too much of a coincidence. I think Epic always knew it was going to be 10 a.m., but either way, that's why we think Chapter 3 is now starting three days earlier, okay? So that's the first one. The second one, which I really want to do, is I want to break this down. I want to break down this trailer and all the main things in the trailer that I'm excited about. This is going to be spoilers, obviously. This is literally the gameplay trailer, okay? So don't complain if you get spoilers, yeah? <laughs> I'll First off, obviously, entirely new map. Absolutely massive, entirely new map. You get an even better shot of it towards the end. It's looking like a very, very cool map. So this is the map as it stands right now. A lot of people ask, arguing about whether it's bigger, whether it's smaller. I would say from looking at it, it looks about the same size, maybe like 10 to 20% bigger. But technically, if the map just flipped and this was on the other side, it would make sense that it's the same size, right? Like they literally flipped into the same size, but it does look more loot dense. There's a lot more POIs. Also, if you go to flipTheIsland.com right now, Epic is slowly revealing the map. So we do have some parts being very well revealed and it looks amazing. I am incredibly, incredibly happy with this map right now. It looks really cool. The POIs look interesting. They look similar enough to the existing POIs where they still feel like you kind of know them, but they are new enough to still be fun. So there's a few POIs they show in here that just look like, you know, new versions of old POIs, but it's because the buildings and the biomes are just the same. So a good example of that would be we kick off, we've got kind of like a desert paradise palms kind of area. First big teaser right here is quad crashes. Quad crashes are going to be in chapter three, which I am super happy about. I think they're one of the best forms of mobility in the game, right up there with hoverboards. If you use them well, you get to rotate all the way across the map. If you use them terribly, you're gonna get beamed and die. So I love that quad crashes back. We still have vehicles in the game. We still have chonker tires in the game, nothing crazy. This, this is our first indicator of what Unreal Engine 5 is gonna be all about. If you guys didn't know, Fortnite Chapter 3, we are going from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. One of the main things with a new engine is you can do new things within the game mechanics. This is one of them. It looks like when you chop out trees, they're going to fall on other trees. I don't know whether that's gonna break builds, whether it's just gonna knock down trees. We don't really know yet. 
I'm a bit, this is one of the main changes I'm a bit scared about. I'm not going to lie. If I now base up near trees, do I have to break them all or they're going to fall down on my head? I don't know yet. It looks super cool though. It's definitely unique and different. Also, as far as weapons go, this is one of our first signs of a new weapon. This looks like a new shotgun. It looks a bit like a lever action. It is not a lever action. When he shoots it, it doesn't flip. This does not look like a lever action. It's entirely new shotgun. We don't actually see any signs of a pump in this entire trailer. We only see the lever action, which we know is still going to be in the game. So is what it is. Now, Spider-Man, obviously, Spider-Man is going to be one of the Battle Pass skins with two different styles, which is incredibly cool. Pre-edits, obviously, still in the game now. Pre-edits are here. We have a lever dropping from this player. So we know levers are in the game. One thing that a lot of people missed here on the trailer, which has me a little bit worried sliding this is our first indicator of sliding and how it's going to work it looks like you don't have to be going downhill so if you watch here on the left once we go to the next scene this guy he's sliding along the ground so it would appear that you can slide on any ground as long as you sprint and crouch it doesn't have to be downhill it doesn't have to be on like dirt we don't know if you can slide on builds like if you're going to be box fighting and you slide through a wall we don't know they don't show any of that in the trailer either though also, we have a Gears of War collaboration, which you may have just spotted. This is the main character from Gears of War. This is a new SMG. Don't really know how this works. It looks pretty cool. They use it a lot in the trailer. This also looks like a new assault rifle. It's not an AK and it's not a combat AR. We can see it later. It looks like it's something entirely different. Here's the sliding again. This is how I imagine sliding to work. Sliding down a hill towards enemies only on downhill terrain. But it looks like that's not the case. We also get another new gun, but I have no idea what this one is. This is the only gun that I just, it's too blurry. I can't really tell what this is. Some people think it's an SMG. Some people saying it looks like a shotgun. It's just really way too hard to tell exactly what that is. I don't know. We've got the SM new SMG, and now this has me so excited. We have what we're imagining is a Spider-Man Mythic. Where it looks like you will have to maybe... Only one player surely has this. Just spider manning across the map. We don't know though. It says moves faster around the map and avoid enemies with new slides and swings. Don't... We don't know how this is going to work. But this looks like a sick area of the map as well. We've got these huge wind turbines that you can base up on. This is looking like one of the biggest changes to Chapter 3. There are now these... I, I, I don't know what they're called. They're set up camps. You get to store items in them. So you can walk up, set up a camp, and you can get items out of the camp that you put in them last game. I have no idea how that's going to work. That sounds awesome. Surely it's not in competitive. There's no way you're going to be able to store weapons in competitive, but I'm imagining in a pub match, like let's say you eliminate someone with a gold spaz halfway through a match, you throw up your 10, you put your gold spaz in the 10, and then you grab it next game. I'm down for that. That sounds really, really cool. But I am also concerned, can you do it on spawn? If someone lands on spawn, can they just throw down a 10 and pull out a solid gold loadout and I'm running around with my gray lever? We'll see though. Also, you just saw a sniper action, a sniper shotgun. It's the bolt action. It's the hunter bolt action sniper. And it, we don't know this one shots to the body. It one shots this player, but we see no damage marker. So I don't know, but it looks like snipers are back in some form. This, the other big change to chapter three, whatever this looks like. It looks like kind of a campfire for shield. That's how I'm imagining this. You throw it on the ground. It's going to give shield to you and everyone around you at a slow rate, like a campfire. But instead of being health, it's shield. I think that's cool. We've been talking about that for a really long time. It's like a portable slurp, uh, like chug cannon or splash. Pretty cool. It's like a chug sprinkler. Yeah, sounds awesome. I like that. This is another change that I'm not sure how I feel about. If you win your, your previous game, you're going to get, what's it called? You're going to get the prestigious victorious crown to mark you as the person who won the last game. The problem is it marks you. So you're going to be running around glowing orange. And it looks like if you kill the player with the crown, you then get to take the crown. I think this is cool. I think it's a big flex, but I'm worried that in pubs, people are going to play differently and target you or run away from you based on the fact that you have the crown. So, I mean, it's a cool change. I'm excited to see. Obviously, you saw a deagle on the ground there as well. We're going to come back and talk about map changes soon. I just, because they're all happening in the background. We get to start looking at some of the new POIs. This is the one that is on that map right now. So if we go back to this one right there, that shot of all these buildings is the one that is currently uncovered on Flip the Island. It looks really cool. 
I love this concept having like, what is that? Seven buildings near each other, but you each have your own building. So if you like land there in competitive, you'll get at least like one building's worth of loot. I think that's pretty awesome. You have like another area over here. Remember it's duos in competitive too. So I could see like one duo going here, like one duo going here. Uh, it's, we get a bunch of map shots now as well. A bunch of new POIs and locations. Like I said, they look kind of familiar. Like this gives you Paradise Palms vibes, but it's definitely not just Paradise Palms thrown on the new map. We have the new statue for the House of Seven. This is going to be a new location that looks, I'm imagining, super stacked. I hope there's going to be a lot of loot here on the edge of the map. We have the Daily Bugle, which is going to be Spider-Man's location. I'm going to guess this is where you get the Spider-Man mythic from. So you can like, you know, web sling around the map. These, these kind of uh, spider webs look like they'll be bounce pads, I imagine. Or sorry, like crash pads. You'll bounce off them. I don't know. It looks really cool though. We have a few other POIs. We have what we have named on my stream Terry. You guys don't have to call him Terry, but for me, this is Terry. Um, I don't know anything about Terry. I think you're going to be able to ride him because we've had a lot of leaks about rideable NPCs. So we're going to go with Terry and we're going to hope we can ride Terry, but he looks cool. I don't know what he does, but he looks awesome. Now, the most game-changing thing of this entire chapter looks like weather conditions. There is now the chance that a random tornado is going to spawn and lightning storms. First off, a little bit scary, but super excited. This could be really cool and really terrible. I'm going to imagine not in competitive. I have to hope that the tornado and the lightning is not in competitive. The tornado for obvious reasons. I actually would prefer the tornado in competitive. This scares me because if this is where you're based up and you're just getting hit with lightning, that's one thing. But I'm very scared, especially for console players. See if I get a good photo here. I'm trying to show you how dark it goes. If you're on console and you have shadows on and you're stuck in one of these storms and you're versing a black superhero skin, I don't like your chances of winning. I'm going to have to imagine that there... It might be the new storm. This could be an entirely new storm mechanic. Maybe if you're out in zone, this is what it looks like. But the fact that they link it with the tornado makes me think that it's not storm. I think it's a weather event, right? Also, there's no like purple... I guess maybe like... This doesn't look like this person's in storm though. There's no other effect. There's no, there's no rain. There's no purple zone. It just looks like it's a weather event. So either way, two possibilities of huge weather events could be crazy. I don't know how they're going to work exactly. We then have some battle pass leaks. The battle pass to me doesn't look amazing. I love Spider-Man, but that's about it. Nothing else too crazy going on, but that's just me. I'm not a huge cosmetic person or never really have been. We get the battle pass loadout. We get a really good map shot. Now, like I talked about with the map, it looks awesome. We have new biomes. We have a desert biome. We have snow. We have all the grass area. One thing that I'm also very excited about, the desert biome has snow on it. I don't know why they would do this unless it's for a uh, Christmas update. If you wanted it to be a desert biome, you'd leave it as desert. The only reason to have desert with snow is for me a Christmas update. That's what I'm thinking. There's no other re reference to a Christmas update, but that just makes sense to me as well. So it looks pretty cool. I don't think the map is any bigger. Like if you imagine this is one corner of the map and this is like, you know, Coral Castle and down there is like Camp Cod, it doesn't look any further, but it's way more loot dense. If we look at this map here at some of the POIs and some of the locations, it looks like there's a lot more going on. You've got this major building, all these little buildings. You've got one there. You've got another house over here, another house over here. You've got what looks like Caddy Corner around the corner. If you go up here, you've got what looks like the old super uh, superhero base. I think like a Weeping Woods kind of maze. And then you've got these kind of POIs that look like they have so much loot at them. So the map is looking very, very good. Overall, if map changes what you wanted like me, we've got a fantastic map on our hands. That's pretty much the entirety of the trailer.